Here Benjamin is getting ready. Do some sleeping in the car. There's where the snow starts, right up at the top of the road. We started at 3 a.m., about a half mile down the road from the standard trailhead. Some of the creek crossings were sketchy. The worst ones uh, I don't have on video. There's some parties up there. Here's Benjamin. We chose to boot up the lateral moraine wall just before Sandy Camp. Looking good. Benjamin coming just above Sandy Camp. Railroad grade is essentially the ridge on top of the Easton Glacier lateral moraine. Side slope traverses are more difficult on a split board than skis. Ben ended up sliding down this traverse, lost some elevation, and then had to expend a lot of energy getting back up. A better option for us would have been not to climb the lateral moraine to railroad grade, but to stay in the primary drainage all the way up onto the Easton Glacier. This is the third camp we've come to. Just start, there we go. Here we go. We're doing some rope glacier travel now. There goes Benjamin. Up he goes. Okay, here we're in the Eastern Glacier. Benjamin's headed up. We only saw four open crevasses and three of them were only two or three feet wide. Okay, it's our first view of the mountain. We broke through the cloud layer about 7,200 feet. Nearly everyone in the Pacific Northwest had a cloudy day, except for the smattering of people like us on top of the big volcanoes. Close up. Crevasse action. Well, do you want to head down? I don't know. I feel bad. I can hear some blows. That's okay. Ben ended up with a bad hip cramp and just wasn't feeling it, and so we aborted at about 9,000 feet. We don't go on unless both of us are feeling strong. Listen for the rumble in the background, which is rock and ice fall off of Colfax Peak. This was Ben's first snowboard descent in two years, and with 6,000 vertical feet and a heavy pack wearing down his legs and the hip cramp, he took it easy getting started. Hey Ben, someone's paragliding off the top. Ben, look.
All right, good job. Just know you have to go to the steep part, however you want, just down, down there a little ways and stop. Keep going right through there. That's a cool view with that mountain right there. Oh, there you go. Stay by the boot pack. I'll be right. What? I'll be right. Toss Throw this one on the left on that kind of steeper hill, right? Doing okay? Oh, yeah. We're already at 6931. We've already come down 2,000 vertical breaker. feet. Uh, 2,000. Yeah, okay, so Just they were right through there. There's the two marked crevasses, so we're right on top of them. And we're right on our ski track. So we're gonna go down past Just go down 30 slow. feet and back turn to the, there we go. There's a crevasse right here. That stay. Cool. Yeah, stay on that side of me. We should be below the last. The glacier is in there, and that line I drew on there from satellite photos, I looked at five different years, so the glacier never extends past my line, which the pop map is pretty good at estimating. As soon as we cross over that, we're off the glacier. So we're even with Sandy Camp right now. So we'll just go out the drainage until we we're get just gonna go river out the river crossing? Yeah, we're just gonna go out the drainage until down here and decide how we're gonna mess up that bottom stuff. That's the my biggest. You were at 5870. Yeah. Not very hard to get out. I can't believe there's so much snow. Huh? I can't believe there's so much snow. I told you it was the snowiest place in the world. Did I not tell you that? Okay. We're coming out of the fog. We can see something. Here comes Benjamin skiing out the eastern drainage. A lot of soft, dirty snow. 